actually I'm going to make a voltage divider. This circuit is very simple. I have two resistors connected in series. Then I have a battery. This is a 9, nine volt battery. Um, what I'm doing, I'm connecting one end of the resistor to the positive rail, just like that. And the other end of the resistor to the negative rail of the breadboard just like that so that is the circuit this is one kilo ohm resistor and this is also a one kilo ohm resistor now what I'm going to do I'm connecting this 9 volt battery to the breadboard to the supply rail so that's the whole circuit. Let's check the voltages across the resistor. Using this multimeter, hope you guys can see. Yeah, let's check the voltage across the two resistors. It shows 9.08 volt. And let's check the voltage at the midpoint or at this junction that is 4.54 and between these two resistors let's check that that's 4.53 so you can see the 9.07 volt is divided into 4.54 and 4.53 volts so 4.5 4.5 let's say so that's how a voltage divider work. It's basically dividing the voltage. Since I used one ohm, one one so one kilo ohm and one kilo ohm resistors, it divided equally to 4.5 volt and 4.5 volt. Okay, now I added one more resistor, a third resistor, which is also one kilo ohm to our previous circuit. So we have three resistors and one end is connected to the positive rail of the breadboard and the other end is to the negative and we supply power a 9 volt by using a 9 volt battery let's check the voltages using a multimeter so it shows 9.14 volt across the three resistors let's check the voltage at this junction this one over there the voltage there is 6.09 volt and the voltage at this point is 3.0 volt so basically the voltage at this this junction is 6 volt and at this junction is 3 volt let's check the voltage across each each resistors checking the first one the voltage across the first one is 3 volt and the second one It's also 3 volt, 3.04 and the third one is also 3.04 so we divided this 9 volt into 3 volt, 3 volt and 3 volt so that's a simple voltage divider circuit the value, the volt, voltage drop across each resistor changes according to the value of the resistors if I use a smaller resistor, the voltage across that resistor will be small. Let's do that. Okay, here I I removed the removed the third resistor and put a two twenty ohm resistor. I removed the one k resistor and re, I replaced with the two twenty ohm resistors. Let's see the voltage across that one.
it shows point eight seven eight volt voltage across this one is four four volt and this one is four volt so basically divided the first two resistor divided the voltage into four volt and four volt and the third one the smaller one divided into almost 0 0.877 it's 0 0.877 volt so if you use you can use different values of resistor to get a particular voltage that you require using this voltage voltage divider it has so many uses um, we will see that uh, in a f in the future video that I'm going to make uh, on triple five timer IC you will see about that or op amp we will be doing a video on operational amplifiers so you will see how how this little circuit is useful there now I have this potentiometer it is 10 kilo ohm potentiometer uh, we can also use this one as a voltage divider um, which is quite easy it has like three three pins pin one two and three basically how it work there's a um, resistor between the pin one and pin three and the fourth pin is connected to a slider which a which can slide over the over the resistor so we can get a different value of resistor uh, resistance by turning this uh, this knob okay let's go and see how it work and i'm going to connect this to the breadboard i connected two jumper wires one to the positive rail and the other to the negative rail now i'm connecting this potentiometer like that between those okay let's connect this way um, between those two wires so we connected the pin one of the potentiometer to um, the positive and the the pin at the other end connected to the negative negative ray and we are leaving the the middle one free so what I'm going to do I'm going to take another jumper wire and connect it to the third pin over there I just leave it there I just left it there then I'm connecting a 9 volt battery to the power rail just like that so that can act as a voltage divider and the voltage the output voltage uh, can be changed just by you know turning this knob of the potentiometer okay let's check the voltage um, this is the output wire this mid this middle wire is the output wire and we're going to connect a multimeter between this output wire and um, the negative rail of the battery and we will see how the um, the voltage the output voltage change when i turn this knob okay now i'm connecting um the 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 ground knob of the multimeter to the negative rail of our breadboard and i'm connecting the positive knob of the multimeter to the output or the middle pin of the potentiometer oops just like that let's see what voltage i'm getting So I'm connect um, I'm just turning the knob all the way to the right it shows I'm getting a, an output voltage of 9.24 volt then I'm gradually turning the potentiometer to the left you can see the output voltage decreases and I, if 
I want 5 volt, I can adjust this potentiometer and I can get 5 volt like that. If I turn it further, I can change to 2 volt. Basically, I can change to whatever the voltage I required between. Uh, 0 to 9 volt because I use 9 volt battery so I, I, I'm getting a voltage range between 0 to 9 volt if I use a 3 volt battery let's do that I'm changing the 9 volt battery with the 3 volt battery let's see how it works just remove that this is like a two two double A batteries it's 3 volt. So I'm connecting to the positive to the positive rail and negative to the negative rail. So it shows uh, 3.10 volt. If I change the knob, I can decrease the output voltage to 2.6, 2.2, 2.1, 1.3, 1.2. So basically, I can get whatever the voltage uh, I want between 0 to the maximum voltage of the battery which is 3.10 volt. So that's all about the voltage divider which is a very useful circuit and we'll be using that a lot in um, small projects or when we're making uh, little applications with open or timer IC or at so many places we will see that in in the future video so that's all for today if you if you learned something if you understood um, something from this video please um, uh, give me a thumbs up and um, um, like my uh, I mean subscribe my channel thank you